I love food. You know, I bite into something like a Tim Hortons donut. My body verbally thanks me. Oh, Louie. <laughs> we have always loved you. <laughs> if you love food, you know what I mean. And I, I don't care about drugs. You could put marijuana and cocaine and a donut down. I, what happened to that donut? I didn't see it. People say, do you ever smoke marijuana? I go, I don't need another reason to be hungry. <laughs> so, my friends would smoke it and I'd get the munchies. <laughs> and my doctor is the one who's worried about me. Aren't doctors pleasant? Louie, I'm worried about you. Well, don't charge me then. <laughs> Let's see how, sin how sincere you really are. I tell you, well, my parents lived a long time. My mom ate every piece of butter in the Midwest, and she still lived till she was 77, God rest her soul. And my dad, he smoked, he drank. At 79, we finally had to kill him. <laughs> I'm on the patch right now. I'm up to about three and a half patches a day. I'll tell you, I called the company. I go, listen, do you ever consider coming out with that jacket? What about a comforter set? <laughs> How many have quit smoking? A few? It's a big thing, isn't it? It's harder to quit nicotine than heroin. So I'm thinking of getting on that. <laughs> that Louis on heroin? Leave him alone, he quit smoking, didn't he? Yeah, that was not the hardest thing I did. It's butter and food. I always start out where I'm gonna order healthy. Yeah, give me the grilled chicken and, uh, and uh, steamed broccoli. What do you want on that broccoli? Steam. <laughs> you want a little cheddar on there? All right. <laughs> but when your parents live to 77 and 79 and they're unhealthy, you say to the doctor, that would be okay if that's when I live till. Once you hit 80, people turn on you. <laughs> you ever watch people talk to old people? Hey there, what are we up to? <laughs> well, I'm up to kicking your ass. <laughs> I'm old, not an idiot. I always like when someone makes it to 100, I always think, shouldn't stuff be free? <laughs> if you can make it 100 years, it wouldn't cost us much and not for long. How old are you, sir? Oh, 55, I'm 56. And time moves faster when you're over 50. People are always coming up to me, Louie, what'd you do today? It's over? <laughs> I had some soup. <laughs> After 50, you're dying for soup. You hungry, Louie? Is there any soup? <laughs> I can digest that. And as soon as you hit 50, you start hitting curbs. Bam, son of a bitch. <laughs> and you're always in shock. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was a curb. When did they put that in? <laughs> I have never seen that before. You are immediately, when you're older, looking for people to blame. Keep it down back there. <sighs> Sometimes I'll be out driving and I'll think to myself, huh. Where am I off to? <laughs> I gotta do that fake call home. Hey, you want anything when I'm over there? At the dentist? Thank you. <laughs> you just don't remember. When you get older, your head's like that magic eight ball. You shake it, hope the right phrase shows up. Try again later, Louie. Horrible. And then I can't see anymore. I mean, I can see all of you, but it's more like a painting. <laughs> I can't read anything without little glasses that I always forget to take. And you never have them when you need them. Where are you, Louie? I'm at the hotel. Well, what's your number there on the phone? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, 
Just hold on a second, will you? Oh, here it is. Seven. It looks like a W is next. Are they putting letters in the numbers again? And now people text me, and I text them back. I'm texting them back. They text me again. Are you okay? I call them. Hey! I need more time! Where's the space bar on this thing? And thanks is not spelled with an X. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, keep going for Bob Saget. Oh my God, right? I can't, I can't believe he has AIDS. So I need to always put that out there straight away. I am born and raised in London. My parents are Nigerian. Any Nigerians in the house? It's a long shot. I didn't think it would work. 